Hi there folks, my name is Tammy and I'm the Chief Tess here at Clan Canines. I want to make a really quick video today to talk about what's in the bag. Um, I always have a rucksack with me when I'm out on my crusades and I get stopped quite regularly by people asking what is in the bag because it looks really heavy. So here we go. I'm just going to turn the camera around and the lovely Eric the Border Terrier is going to be helping me with this video although he has got his eye on the ball at the moment. So this is the rucksack that I carry with me. First of all, we have these. These are dicky bags. Um, you can buy them online. They're made of neoprene, which is the stuff that they make wetsuits with. And they basically hold filled dog poo bags. Um, they have a zip. So basically, as you fill up the, do <laughs> the dog poo bags and tie them, if there's not a bin nearby, you can pop them in there, zip it up. And then at the end of the walk, when we find a bin, we can empty that out. So that's what these two are. I have two because I walk up to six dogs at a time. And some of the dogs uh, fill a lot of poo bags. <laughs> and we carry poo bags too. Um, round here on this side, carabina always comes in handy. Um, and what I have here is actually a little rape alarm. Now, the reason that I carry this on the rucksack... Uh, hey, Eric. <laughs> the reason I carry this on the rucksack is in case we encounter strange dogs and we end up in a dog fight or there's any kind of dog fight situation um, just setting off this alarm can just be enough to distract the dogs for a couple of seconds to allow you to get in and separate them without getting hurt um, and that's the reason that I carry this. Another good thing for you to carry if you don't want to carry a rape alarm is a little air horn um, works just as well and we've got a little tennis ball <laughs> which is what Eric is after. So in the front um, I have two things I carry clot it. So clot it is brilliant for stopping any bleeds. So if there's a dog having an accident on the walk, um, this clot it can just stop the bleeding until we get them somewhere to the vets. <laughs> Let's move that out of Eric's way. And then the other thing we carry in the front here um, is lucillin. I have probably pronounced that wrong. Um, and that is an antiseptic spray. Um, and again, that is just if a dog has an accident. Um, so on that vein, I actually carry a full canine first aid kit in here, um, although I don't think, so let me, there's a few other things we'll get to, we'll come, we'll come to the first aid kit. So I always have water for the dogs and I also have a collapsible water bowl. Now obviously this comes into its own a lot more in the summer months and um, when it's hot and we're out with the dogs um, but I always always carry a bottle of water and collapsible water bowls as well uh, with me. We've also got in here spare leads. Now I always have a slip lead. That's Now I don't use slip leads on the dogs but it's very very handy um, if you need to catch a dog um, who doesn't want to be caught. <laughs> um, I actually used this. We did find a, a lost dog once when we were on a walk and um, using this slip lead, I actually managed to get a hold of it and it was reunited with its owner because we went to the vets to check the microchip number. So I always carry a slip lead and I usually have another spare lead in here as well just in case any of the dog's leads break or get lost when we're out. Um, and then, yeah, and then... Yeah. Oh. The first aid kit this is quite hard to do one-handed so this first aid kit came from the wonderful rachel bean um who runs the canine first aid workshops that clan canines host up here in edinburgh once a year um so this is a really comprehensive first aid kit um, and i carry this with me in the rucksack as opposed to leaving it in the van because it, i feel like a dog's much more likely to to have the accident while we're out and about eric's having a good look here so <laughs> amongst other things we've got a tourniquet Eric <laughs> um, there's lots and lots of bandages we have got um, some sterile wash uh, we have got a foil blanket um, some more bandages what else is in there Eric can you see so lots and lots we've also got tweezers and a thermometer um, so we're basically we're, we're ready for a lot of situations that could occur um, on a walk and thankfully um, I've only ever had to use a, a bandage on one of my dogs who just got a tiny little cut on a walk once but I have actually on several occasions um, 
helped out an owner of a dog whose dogs maybe had an accident that we've come across on a walk. So it's a great thing to carry and I do keep it fully stocked um, and as I use things I replace them. Uh, we've got my thermometer here and some tweezers. So yeah, so this is a really comprehensive first aid kit and that's always in the rucksack. Um, and that's the majority, That I think that's pretty much everything we've got in there. Um, I carry a dog treat pouch separately, so we've got treats with us at all times as well. Um, that's actually, I'm just having a look in here. I've got another collapsible water bowl in there as well. <laughs> because I walk six dogs, um, I do usually have a couple of water bowls. So yeah, so that is the rucksack. That's what's in the bag. Um, so that's the secret, guys. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Hope you've all had a really good weekend and it's bye from me and it's bye from Eric.